Hello guys. All right, I am going to do another product review for you. This time it's the Almond Breeze um, Almond Coconut Non-Dairy Beverage. So this is soy free for any of you who don't like soy, can't consume soy, just want something different. Oh, okay, sorry, just trying to fix up my camera here. In any case, this, it says it's new, so I, I don't know how new this is, but a newer flavor anyway. And I have found in the past that I do not mind the almond coconut blends. I've tried, um, gosh, one of them, and I, I didn't, I liked it. So this says shake well. I, I didn't really like the, like, I, you know, I don't really like almond milk so much, but I did sample some of the Blue Diamond almond milk at the grocery store not too long ago, and it wasn't too bad. So this says it's a delicious non-dairy blend with almond and coconut. Blue, do bleh, blue Diamond almond growers are known for growing some of the world's finest almonds from the orchards of California. No one knows tree nuts better than Blue Diamond. Our, di our, our almonds are carefully blended with coconut to produce a rich, creamy, non-dairy beverage. So this is casein-free, gluten-free, cholesterol-free, peanut-free. And for the nutrition facts, I'll just read that first. For every cup, there are 60 calories. So that's very good if you're concerned about the calorie count. It's got 3 grams of fat, 1 gram of saturated fat, 0 cholesterol, 130 milligrams of sodium, 180 milligrams of potassium, 7 grams of carbohydrates, 1 gram of fiber, 6 grams of sugar, 1 gram of protein, 0 vitamin A, 0 vitamin C, 30% calcium, 4% iron, 10% vitamin E, 2% phosphorus, 4% magnesium, and the ingredients are water, evaporated cane juice, almonds, coconut cream, which consists of coconut, water, xanthan gum, guar gum, calcium carbonate, potassium citrate, natural flavor, sea salt, carrageenan, and sunflower lecithin. Obviously, it contains almonds and coconut. All right, trying to give this a good shake. We'll see if I like this. The one thing I find about commercial coconut milks is they're often too thick for my liking. I don't know why they're so thick. I don't think they need to be that thick. When I make it at home, it's not thick. And almonds often have that nasty aftertaste. So let's see how this works. Okay. It still has that um, almond aftertaste. I don't know whatever they, they make, however they make the almonds, however, they, if it's some sort of almond paste, it has a bit of an aftertaste of that. However, it's not hugely unpleasant. Like, I could drink it. It's not my favorite, but I could drink it if I had to. Um, in a smoothie, something like that, this should be okay. Look, here I am pouring a little bit more. <laughs> this doesn't have any B12, does it? Okay, so this has no B12. Um, you know, it's it's fine for a smoothie. And if you like almond milk, you'll probably love this. The coconut's not overpowering. In fact, I can hardly taste the coconut, but slightly. Um, it's not too thick at all, so it's a nice consistency for the beverage. And yeah, it'll be good in a smoothie. Good in oatmeal. Um, and if you like to drink it straight, have at it. For me... I would drink it straight because I have it here, but not my first choice for a drink stra straight non-dairy milk beverage. Okay guys, that's it. This is the Almond Breeze non-dairy beverage, almond coconut flavor. Okay, thanks for watching.